This is the one that we care about, is to show that finite state automata are at least as powerful as regular expressions. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to show that I can take any regular expression and I can convert that into an equivalent finite state automaton. So we're going to show the translation in this direction. So to show that finite state automata are at least as powerful as regular expressions, I'm going to give a general way of taking any regular expression and converting it into an equivalent finite state automaton. And the strategy we're going to use to do this is we're going to show that every piece that we had identified a regular expression is, is being allowed to have, we could build automata that did the same thing as those pieces. So the idea here is with all of these pieces of a regular expression, empty string, literal character, and so forth, I'm going to show that I can take the regular expression of the empty string, and I can make a finite state automaton for that. And then I'm going to show that I can take any literal character, and I can make a finite state automaton for that. And then I'm going to show that if I had two finite state automata, I could combine them with union or alternation. So if I had two languages that I could represent or compute with a finite state automaton, then I can also find a finite state automaton that can compute the union of those two languages. So we're kind of mimicking this operation that we can have inside regular expressions by doing the parallel operation on finite state automata as well. So I can build regular expressions by saying empty strings or literal characters combined with alternation. I'm going to show that I can take finite state automata for the empty string, finite state automata for literal characters, and combine those with alternation. And then I'm going to do the same thing for concatenation. I'm going to show that if I have two finite state automata, each computing some language, I can find a third finite state automaton that can compute the concatenation of those two languages. So if I had things that had regular expressions, and I could convert those two things into finite state automata, then I can do the concatenation, then I can take the, uh, those two finite state automata and do a concatenation on them in order to do the same thing as concatenating regular expressions. And same with Claney star. If I have a finite state automaton for some language, I can create a finite state automaton for the Claney star of that language, for that operation on the language. So this proof technique that we're using here, this is actually a special kind of proof by induction. The way that our regular expressions are defined is to say that we have base cases, like empty string and literal character. So those are going to be base cases. Those are kind of the simplest regular expressions I could have, just having a literal character or having the empty string or something like that. And then we have rules for how I can build more and more and more complicated regular expressions from those simple pieces, which is by combining them together with these operations. So what we've described here with these pieces of a regular expression is rules for building regular expressions. Every regular expression is going to be an empty string, or it's going to be a literal character, or it's going to be an alternation of two regular expressions, or it's going to be a concatenation of two regular expressions, or it's going to be a Claney star of a regular expression. And I can just build those up arbitrarily to make more and more and more complicated regular expressions. So we have rules for building regular expressions. And we're going to show that we can start with simple finite state automata and uh, build up finite state automata to be more and more complicated, such that we can build them up using these same rules. So if I show these base cases where I can have a finite state automaton for an empty string, and I can have a finite state automaton for a literal character, and I can show that if I take any two finite state automata and can combine them together using these rules that regular expressions have for combining, then I should be able to build a finite state automaton to match any regular expression. So this is our strategy. This is the strategy we're going to use in order to prove this. So in order to finally demonstrate this, in order to actually arrive at our conclusion, we just have to show that I can build finite state automata for each one of these pieces.